Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, salut à tous, ici Clément pour le Web Toulousain. On se retrouve aujourd'hui au Toulouse Game Show pour interviewer des sorcières, des magiciens, plein de personnes et particulièrement des acteurs et actrices que vous connaissez très bien grâce à cette musique. Et bien entendu, je vous parle de charme et on va se retrouver tout de suite avec eux. Venez avec moi. Holly Marie Combs, Ryan Cross, Drew Fleur. Merci de répondre à cette interview. Comment ça se passe cette journée au TGS ce week-end Vous avez rencontré vos fans C'était comment sur le coup Fantastic. We we have not been here in Toulouse before, and I think we were all a little unsure of what to expect. Uh, and I think we've been overwhelmed and uh, surprised. Uh, the fans have been fantastic, and the city of Toulouse is absolutely beautiful. I, I think we're all just yeah. kind of feel like we're in a wonderland. Uh, with the weather and the, uh, it's cozy and, and the smiles that we see every day. It's again 21 years later. It just it all feels like a blessing. Vous êtes tous les trois connus pour avoir joué dans la série Charm. C'est une série qui a 21 ans. Comment expliquez-vous que 21 ans après, c'est une série qui fonctionne encore, que ça soit encore dans le cœur des gens? I think the number one reason the shows last for so long is not just the genre, but uh, the three ladies that are the head of the show that. Uh, you know showed us that they could be vulnerable and strong at the same time and and that family and togetherness uh works that even if you're different you, you could be the best uh and, and i think that resonates with a lot of the fans and i think that's why it'll continue for so long the themes that are universal 20 years ago 40 years ago are as relevant today as they were then and that's the thing about amazing storytelling in general is that you can You know, good storytelling is good storytelling. Good themes are good themes. And they're going to resonate with every generation because every generation is going to have reoccurring issues and or, you know, storytelling that allows things like charm to come to the surface and it will resonate with multiple generations and hopefully it will can continue for, you know, the next 20 years. And I'm pretty positive it will. Um, for me, it's it's kind of like a bit of a time warp. Like, it doesn't feel like it's been 20 years, let alone 21 years, until, that is, somebody comes up to me and says, I've been watching you since I was seven. And I'm 28 now. And I'm like, great, 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 good for you. It's hard not to feel old when somebody has said to you, I've watched you since I was seven. But at the same time, what's crazy is that These people are grown-ups now, and they're still in, emotionally invested in the show, which was something we never anticipated. And they share it with their younger generations, their sisters, their kids. And um, yeah, it, it has some sort of incredible staying power of its own that we never anticipated, but obviously are very grateful for. En huit saisons, on a appris plein de choses. C'est une série sur des pouvoirs magiques, sur des sorcières, sur des sorciers et démons. Si dans la vie de tous les jours, vous aviez la possibilité d'avoir un seul pouvoir, lequel choisiriez-vous et pourquoi I would definitely freeze time, especially in this world that we live in now when information is coming into our brains so fast. There was just like recently some study that people's brains weren't meant to absorb information this much, so much every day, that even like at a certain point, that a newspaper was too much for a person's brain to digest in a day because we weren't, we developed this way, but we weren't made to, like it used to be like news carried through people and stories traveled through people or for neighbors or through towns. And we're so inundated now with just information overload, especially children now, that definitely slowing down time, freezing time, which is what even meditating is, would be highly beneficial for my life. <laughs> huh? They have an app for that. You can, yeah, you can meditate and freeze time every day. For, it gives you like a, it like gives a you, notification. Yes, it tells you, <laughs> hey, take 20 minutes out of your day and meditate. Yeah. yeah. Does it make it on your pulse rate? Blood pressure? Yes, there's actually a thing called an aura ring. An aura ring. You got to get the aura ring. It's amazing. I do. Now you know what It's very expensive. No special powers? Oh, oh, special powers. I love traveling and I love the the idea of being able to kind of like think of any place in the world at any given moment and be able to just teleport there immediately. 
not unlike orbing. I kind of do, but it takes a long time still. Like, it's 2019. I don't think it should take 12 hours to get to Europe from Los Angeles. Listen, you're going to love that. You're making me think it's Yes, she's going on the train with us to an undisclosed location. You're going to love it. We're going to live stream the whole thing. The whole thing. The whole thing. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. But yeah, orbing would be or teleportation, instant. And maybe whoever I touch, I could take along with me. Isn't that orbing? Yes. Yeah. All right. So, so I'll, I'll, I'll orb. I'll orb. Orb yourself. I'm orbing now. Out of here. <laughs> well, I think I like both of those, but I, I think ultimately I'd probably take Leo's healing power. Because uh, it, it sucks to hurt, right? Uh, and we have we all have family and friends that go through certain things that uh, you know we wish we could take away their pains, and I, I think it would be amazing because you can't travel or orb or blow anybody up. I don't if you're not feeling well, I so know, you told me I I'm just a healer. Everybody. Well, you, you can't listen, save I didn't save everybody either. Remember Prue. <laughs> Dernière question sur le coup. Si demain Charm devait revenir à la télévision ou au cinéma, est-ce que vous accepteriez tous les trois d'être dedans? No, I think 100% we would. Um, but right now we're kind of in the golden age of television with the streaming services, your Netflixes, your Amazons, your Hulus, Apple's now in the game, Disney, like the, the streaming services have kind of revolutionized how we consume storytelling. Um, while there's something still magical about going to the cinema, being able to kind of sit in your home and to watch it and consume as much as you possibly can at your own leisure, it, that's kind of like where obviously television is going and if that opportunity came up for all of us I think we'd jump at it just because we love these characters and we can and the fans love the characters and so it's one of those things where yeah ish I mean some love some love it more than others all right I, I let me retract some love it more than others yeah 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 yeah. and so with that uh, I think to be able to kind of play in this world again would be something that we would all relish and you know I think the fans would love it too you guys have to make it happen. The fans. Yeah, yeah, the fans. Listen to me. This is the voice of God. You have to make it happen. Merci beaucoup. Thank you so much. Merci. Et voilà, cette vidéo se termine là pour aujourd'hui. J'espère qu'elle vous a plu. N'hésitez pas à mettre un petit commentaire en bas, à rejoindre la page Facebook et le site officiel du Web Toulousain. Et quant à moi, ben, je vais vous laisser ici, je pense, et vous dire à très très vite dans le Cinéclem. Ciao. Oh.